Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to our Pokemon Y Wonderlock Challenge. Thank you so much for joining us today. Let's see here. Oh, we're gonna run into a random encounter. Why not? You know, we're just gonna start the episode with a random encounter. Why not? It's a pan jam! I want a pan jam. Anyways. So, I'm gonna try and run from this thing. Simple as that, right? Maybe? Okay. Yo, if you are new to the channel though, you might consider hitting that uh, subscribe button for us. And if you are really liking this series, make sure you hit that like button as well. And we're gonna try and get to at least the next town. At least. I think we might try to get to the Snorlax. We'll see. Uh huh. Level 13, eh? I kinda wanna use Dunkey, <laughs> honestly. What moves does it have, anyways? Oh, it doesn't even have anything that's really gonna be, like, any of help. But the only thing this thing would have is, like, confusion. But, I know how fast the thing can be, too. Wow, decision is right at the beginning of the uh, episode, man. Really tough decision I gotta make right there. Trasla! What are we gonna get? Synchronized. Dude, synchronized is awesome. Kinesis. I'm glad I avoided. And see, the only thing I really have is confusion as well, so... This could kind of get a little annoying. Accuracy fell. Yay. This won't do much. No. Maybe I can get it, conf Maybe I can get it confused. That would be nice. I, I kind of doubt that I'll get it, though. Why am I using this one? Maybe I... Does all you have is Kinesis? I'm starting to kind of think that's all he's got. If that was the case, then I should have just kept with Zigzag- Nope, he's got Confusion. Okay. I was waiting for the Confusion. Oh god, that did a lot. I did 14 damage. Oh crap. I shouldn't have- I shouldn't have kept it. I should have swapped. Okay, good. Please Confuse. Nope, okay. Hmm. We're gonna go to Stunky. I mean, Stunky's what, level 21? He'll be alright. He'll be good. <clears throat> uh, uh, I just realized what all I have. We'll do Faint. There we go. Take care of that little cadaver, little cadaver problem we had. Zigzagoon is at 13, which is good. Sand attack? Eh, I'm not a big fan of sand attacks. So we're just gonna keep the old moves. Yes. He just wants to get some sleep. Uh, I understand that. I really want to get some sleep too. Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna go after like every like item on the ground just cause. And I'm also going to heal real quick. Oh, I only got 10. Let me heal this one up. There we go. Oh, I did not mean to double that. There. I'm going to keep everyone kind of up in the, you know, in their HP. Just so, you know, just in case. Uh, where are we at here? Oh, I uh, probably, I did not actually mean to do that. Hey, we got a berry. Ooh, an orange berry. Nice. Can I have another one? Nope, okay. Apparently you can't have another one. Ugh. There we go. There we go. It's like, I really want to face these guys. <laughs> it's like, I really want a little bit more experience, even though we're like, over level right now. At least for me, I think we're over level. But we're still taking quite a bit of damage. Zigzagoon. 12 to 13. Yeah, see, we're kind of we're kind of on that borderline of over levelness, but which is why I'm more using the Zigzagoon than anything else. This one's gonna hurt. I did nine damage. Jesus, Zigzagoon, why you so weakish? Ow. Kind of don't want to lose the Zigzagoon, honestly. Um, Butterbee, because I'm gonna use Butterbee in a little while. Might as well use him, right? 
Let's see. What is our question of the day gonna be? We did dark types yesterday. How about what is your favorite flying type? I think that one would be a good one. I mean, there's a lot of variety of flying types out there, so it's kind of a harder choice to think about. Personally, I think my favorite flying type would be Charizard. <laughs> I know, Charizard's like the only one of its line to get fly the flying type, but I really like Charizard. I mean, Charizard's like one of my second favorites. It is one is my second favorite, I should say. Oh. I could have worked that out to have like a double battle, but oh well. Winnie with Bottle Bear. Now, depending on what level this thing, it might have Mud Slap, which is going to be very interesting. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't even have close. Zigzagoon, unfortunately, you are way too weakened right now to fight. Or I would have you fight. And I just touched my glasses, and now I can't really, like, I've got to, like, move a little bit to be able to see everything. <laughs> and this is what happens when I touch my glasses. <laughs> So yeah, like I said, like Charizard's actually one of my favorite flying types. Of course, with the the introductions of the new Pokemon, even from Gen 6 and Gen 7, I've really started liking, um, what's it called? I like Fletchendor, I like Talonflame. Talonflame was cool. I thought it was a really neat Pokemon to have. And then, like, we, you introduced Sun and Moon into the mix, and I, I kind of like Toucanon, honestly. I thought it was a really neat Pokemon. And, you know, just, just awesome like stuff, you know? Skiddo! I like Skiddo. I'm gonna have Bunnelby come out for this one. Skiddo's grass typing, if I do remember correctly. It has been a while, but if I do remember correctly, it is grass typing. Skiddo! It's so cool looking. I like Skiddos. Skiddos are cool. Like I said, we're going to try and get to the next town before the end of the episode. I don't know if we're actually going to make it or not. Hopefully, we'll make it. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, we don't get, like, completely screwed here either, you know. What was that? Growth? Right, row. That's not good. I don't like growth. Especially in a Nuzlocke situation, I do not like growth at all. Vine Whip, this is going to hurt! I can take this thing out. I can take this out. That was a risky move, and I'm glad it worked. <laughs> I don't know if that crit mattered or not. I'm kind of glad it critted. That was a really risky move. I probably should not have done that, so. But anyways. Let's see. Uh-oh. Crap. That is not good. That was not good. <laughs> Apparently, I fail. It's a Skiddo! I like Skiddo. We're just gonna run. If I was to wear, like, I was, like, right there at that leveling point, then I would probably attempt... I would actually probably attempt to... Come on. Oh, come on. Seriously? Does it, like, randomly stop you there? Pantium! I like Pantium. Mold breaker breaks the mold. Breaks the mold. Okay. No. All right. You know what? We're just gonna go back this way. I didn't realize I even hit the grass. Skiddo again. Because it's a skiddo. Run away from the scary little Skiddo thingy! Of course, we haven't had any horde battles yet, so that's good. Alright, let's see what he's got. As long as I'm with my Pokemon. A lot of trainers right out in here. Of course, the second gym is not for a long, long time. Like, there's a bunch of uh, cities before we even get to the second gym leader, which I think, you know... It's what, like two episodes? No, it's not even two. It's gonna be like three or four. Just because of how far away it actually is. I think it's like... We've got this town coming up, and then we've got an entire section there we gotta deal with. 
Then we go to this other town, and then we have to deal with the team there, so... Yeah, dude, there's like two or three more cities before we even get to the second gym leader. And it's crazy how like far away they actually are, you know? Compared to like, you know, back in Gen 1, the cities were actually close together. These ones are actually kind of spread. Goodbye, Bidoof. Lord Bidoof, goodbye! Oh, teesh! I'm gonna stay in. I'm just gonna stay in, because this way I can just, you know... I kind of only want to evolve this thing eventually, so... <laughs> you know what I mean? And goodbye, Oddish. I mean, I would like to evolve it into its next form. Which is Curlia, which would be amazing. And then we're gonna go for Garnevoir. Garnevoir! Of course, I need some money too, you know. I need, I need the money so I can, like, get some experience and stuff. Well, oh, there's a TM. Uh, I don't know if that TM is actually worth it or not. I'm gonna try and skip a couple of trainers, maybe. Dang it. I was gonna try and skip a couple of trainers because we don't need too many more trainers. Bunnelby! I've got a Zigzagoon sitting here. <laughs> and yes, I am using Zigzagoon, okay? I feel as though Zigzagoon would be a very important... Uh-oh. Hello, Clip. Thank you for using the Holocaster. Lysander Labs developed the Holocaster to make the lives of Pokemon trainers richer, fuller, and more convenient. We're ho we hope you'll in continue to enjoy the fine services this device provides. Goodbye. Getting robots. Don't you love it? Uh, here we go. Center of Pokemon! Because we need it. Good thing we're healing up our Pokemon now, huh? So, I hinted at this in our Discord server a little, like a couple, like a week ago or so before. I've noticed that we're gonna have a really horrible time, in my opinion. We're gonna have a really horrible time with the third gym leader. That being said, I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be very interesting. I need potions more than super right now. Grab. I'm gonna grab a few of these just to be on the safer side. And then we don't need any of these. Let's grab pokeballs. Okay. There we are. Out of money. Woohoo. So. Like, like, like I said, I think we're going to have a really rough time with the third gym leader. Now, the second one, I have Tentacool, which is good. I want this. Hang on. I want this item. I'm trying to remember where exactly where to go here. It's been a while. I want this item. Yeah, give me the item. Thank you. Oh, I don't even use it. The only time I've ever actually used X items was back in the uh, Sun and Moon games when we did the egg lock, because that was freaking awesome. What do we got here? else here. Aha, another item. A star piece! Ooh, that's some good money right there. Definitely worth some money right there. But like, I used X items back in the egg lock for our sun and moon when I live streamed it. And that's about the only reason we actually made it through that game. So, if I didn't have those X items, we'd have been screwed. Oh. Hi, Banksy! An acquaintance of yours? Two visitors to Chaponol Castle. I can't remember the last time we've been so busy. This castle, Chateau, if you will, was a manor house of a noble family. It may be a little run down, but that's because there's history to this place. During that history, the owners of this castle give away a lot of their stuff to everyone. So that's why it feels so empty. The end. That, that's it? Don't you have anything related to Mega Evolution? That's it? What in the world is Mega Evolution? Sir, it's back again! Is it that time of the year already? Well, there's nothing I can do about that now. I need to go to Route 7. Please take your time and have a look around. I wonder what that was all about. Why don't we go to Route 7 too? Yeah, because I would love to catch some more Pokemon. But I'm going to look around. Nope, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I love myself. It's like, I'm going to look around. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> 
Alright, so we're all healed up. Let's go ahead and head on out to Route 7. Actually, I think we're gonna be on Route 7 here. Where's Route 6? This way. Oh, whoops. Big C, they said they were going this way. Okay, so 6 is actually that way. Okay, I see now. Big C, what is it? Snorlax. Here we go again! It's sleeping so soundly! The end of the world wouldn't wake it! Look, it's practically a mountain, right? It's blocking the road completely! Come now, sir, use the pocket flute! Oh wait, do you even have it anymore? Nope, I handed it over! Or you could just say it was taken by the owner of the palace. What? Huh? What's a pocket flute? Basically, the pocket flute is what we need to wake up Snorlax. But the pocket flute is currently at par from palace. Oh, that's it? All we need to do is go and get it then? Come on, Big C, let's go! The part from Palace has just passed Route 6! And maybe at a place like that we might learn something about Mega Evolution! Alright, so we're heading off to Route 6. Awesome. We'll get ourselves another little encounter coming up here real quick. Okay. Uh, I want that. Thank you. X Special Attack. So we're getting a lot of, like, the X items. Oh, come on now! Can I go around? Yeah. Mainly if I just stay, like, on the road, it'd be alright. Okay. So, now we're at the palace. I mean, technically, I don't know if there is a encounter here. No, I don't think there's an encounter here. I'm gonna go back out this way. Just so I can grab that encounter, which is going to be right in here, apparently. There we go. And I saw a TM that I'm thinking I might go grab. We got Centret. Hey, Centret's actually a pretty good Pokemon. I like Centret. Got level 10. I think Tackle would do enough damage to let us capture it. So let's see. Oh, yeah, that's, that's quite a bit. And it Defense Curled, which is good, so... But even if we crit, we would actually knock it out. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to capture the thing. Hopefully it'll be pretty easy. Bing, 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 bing. One. A two. Three. There we go. Just like that. Got ourselves a Sentry. But except we're going to Wonder Trade the Sentry. Okay, what? Centret, the Scout Pokemon. Oh, you, you went a little too quickly through that. <laughs> um, so it's sent to Route Box 1. You sent to Route 1, huh? So I know there's a bunch of trainers here that I could grab that extra experience on. But right now, I kind of don't want to. Because we've got so much more to do. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and get this thing water traded real quick. Alright, and now we shall trade the Centret away. It was level 10, by the way. I'm kind of curious what we're going to get now. I'm like... Like, I'm hoping for something like like pops up really cool, you know? Bonjour! We got KZK from France. France. Okay, let's see. We got ourselves a Sentry going away. Bye, Sentry! We are going to get... A Fletchling! Yes! Thank you! <coughs> Excuse me. I like Fletchling. I would... Okay, that is a freaking cool name right there. I love that name. B.O. Like, if a Pokemon faints, we're definitely using a uh, the Fletchling. Because I love Talonflame. I love Talonflame in this generation. It was a really good Pokemon to actually have. So, we got ourselves the encounter. There's a lot... I know, there's like a bunch of items and stuff I'm missing, but... At the same time, I'm trying to progress quite a bit. Because we got so much to do before we hit the uh, next gym. Do I even have the money for this? Whoops! I just thought about that. Um, the entrance fee will be 1000 per person. You've got to be kidding me! It costs money to go inside? You see, the owner of the palace follows the school of thought that you can never have too much money. Yes, that is how the rich get richer. Here's your interest fee. 
Uh, why, I never. You don't even have a thousand. Well, I suppose I can still let you in. Just act natural and don't arouse suspicion. Pass through the gate like you belong here. Okay, thank you. Apparently you actually don't have to pay. That's cool. I, actually, I did not know that. Things you learn when you're doing a Nuzlocke challenge. <laughs> Bye, Shauna. Actually, I don't think that's Shauna. I forget her name. <laughs> Bye, pesky little girl that's really annoying half the time. <laughs> what? <laughs> what can I say? Where is it? Where could it be? My fur fru! My beloved little fur fru has disappeared! It disappeared? Hey, Big C! We should help look! I mean, if my if my Pokemon was missing, I'd be sick with worry. Yeah, we already know where the thing is, is the fun part. Um It's actually out of here. This place is huge, by the way. I'll have a look in back. Now, let's see if I can remember this right. It's like over here or something. Here it is. Okay, here it is. I found it! Oof, oof. Please, don't run away! Big C, give me a hand! The path over there leads to a dead end. Let's split up, chase Furfur, and corner it there. I'll keep it from getting away. Go spot a spot, pick a spot for me to stand. <coughs> <coughs> like over there, over there. Okay. Okay, the things right there. Cool. Uh, I think if I have her stand here, and then I go this way, there we go. That's how I wanted. That's what exactly I wanted to do, so. So it went that way. Let's have her go here. Okay. Now, I'm going to go up this way, and this should corner him. There we go. Whew! Well done! We finally caught it! Big C, you're amazing! We caught it because you understand how Pokemon feel! Oh, my dear Furfro! My beloved Furfro! Could you be... Well, could you be the two responsible for my wonderful reunion with my dear Furfro? How wonderful indeed! It's marvelous, simply marvelous! A situation like this demands fireworks! We shall put on a show! Boom! Boom! My Pokemon and I are reunited! Our bond has been proven! We'll commemorate this joyous occasion with a tremendous fireworks display! And it will all serve as a reward for the tiny bit of trouble you went to! Rendezvous back at the uh, thingy! Do you understand? Rendezvous! You can reach the balcony from the hall with mirrors on the second floor! Maybe Furfru would have been better off if we hadn't found it. If we, if I was, if I were a Pokemon, I'd hate to have a trainer like that. But I really love fireworks. Let's, so let's make the best of it. All right, so we're supposed to go up to the second floor. So we we actually got quite a bit done today. <clears throat> of course, nothing like you know, like. Whoa, what's Reshiram doing here? <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. I like the, like, I've never, I didn't actually, like, sit down and look at the statues when I first played through this. So, like, now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, those are pretty darn nice. Yeah, I thought that was by Sharp. Uh, let's see, we need to go up. And I think... I think we want to go here. Yeah, okay. This was right. I win! Oh, nope, she beat me up here. Darn it. Oh. Um, you know, I've never 
watched fireworks alone with the boy before. <laughs> I love the Jotini statues, those are like so cool. We haven't even seen them yet, but I know I'll never forget these fireworks, cause I watched them with you, Syndicate. Oh, it's a love story. Oh. <laughs> and the fireworks are over. <laughs> Just like that. Wow! That was amazing! I never even want to forget this, so I'll keep this memory in my album in my heart. And that was my wonderful fireworks show for my fur fru. I assume you're satisfied with that. Oh! I almost forgot! That's right! We need the flute to wake up Snorlax! Ugh, the Pokey Flute, huh? Go get it! It was Shuffle Castle's treasure, but I took it as a payment for a loan! A rich guy like me and a common person like that just don't go together. Give it to them! Here is the Pokey Flute! Listen well, you two. Always return what you borrow. That's very important. I want to make lots of memories on my journey, but I think I'll try to forget about him. You can't imagine how stressful running this place is for him. That may be so, but... Oh, that's right. Mr. Butler, do you know anything about Mega Evolution? I remember reading a book on that subject in the Palace Library. It has something to do with what you now call a trainer holding a mysterious stone high and making Pokemon evolve even further. Also, it's not much, but I would like you to have this. <laughs> Protect! Hey, you never know when we might need that. Protect protects. Protect blocks opposing opponent Pokemon's moves, but if you use it many times in a row, the chances of it not working increase. If you will excuse me, I shall take my leave. The owner of Shiba Castle used to be friends with that guy? Can you believe it? Isn't that crazy? We have to be sure to give that flute back when we wake up Snorlax. <clears throat> Alright, so we gotta go wake up Snorlax. Uh, I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead... Uh, I don't know if I can make it back or not. Without hitting a trainer or two. Oh, it's a little Meryl! A Zoomeral. No. It's Meryl. Meryl! Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. I think I've already passed it, didn't I? Nope. Oh my god, this place is so confusing! Where is it? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, here we go. This is where I wanted to go. Prepare for trouble! Make a double! That's exactly what I was thinking right there for some reason, I don't know. Uh, don't ask me. I know there's a bunch of trainers that I'm not going to do right now. And let's see, I think the other guy is like right there. Yep, okay, sweet. So we like passed all of the trainers here. I know there's like so many more we can do. And like... I really want to go back and face them just to gain some more experience, but at the same time, I'm like, eh, you know. <clears throat> oh, it's your too! Did you actually manage to borrow the Pocket Flute? Yes. Here you go. Thanks! Well, you're the only one who can play it, right? Snorlax can be grumpy when it wakes up. It might attack. I'll play the flute right now, but are you ready to stop it? Yes. Feels nice to have this flute in my hands again. Okay, I guess I'll start playing. Snorlax opened its eyes wide. <clears throat> Alright, so we gotta attempt to get the Snorlax now. Snorlax. Uh, what level is it? Oh god, it's 15? <laughs> that didn't do anything. Okay! Um. Um. 
His defense is not very good either. Um, and actually, his is actually better. Let me grab Stunky. <clears throat> I hate doing this, but I'm like, uh, you know. Oh, thank you for using a defense curl. All right, let's see here. We're going to faint. Now, considering this is a forced battle, I'm still going to capture it, but I'm still going to... That did nothing. I'm still also going to get the encounter for Route 7, because this is a forced battle, so... There's three. Ah, that was a crit. There's four. Five. Okay. Ah, that's not bad. I can deal with that. Hey, it flinched! Haha! -ha. Uh, let's throw a great ball at it and see what happens. I don't want to waste all my balls on this one either. But don't ding! Oh. One, two, three. I was about to say, really? Ugh. That still hurts. Crap. We avoided. Amnesia! Doesn't need it. <laughs> I'm not using a special attack on it. Considering Fury Swipes cannot knock this out, even with the 5, it just can't. You little thing! At least its defense can't go up any higher. Come on, Snorlax! Please! For the love of God! Be caught within the Pokeball! Please! Thank you! Oh my god! If he'd have done one more tackle on Stunky, I'd have probably lost him. Whew. I was taking risks after risks after on that one. Like, damn, man. I gotta go back to town. I have got to go back to town. So we got the Snorlax. Fortunately, I don't get the, get the item, but that's okay. Awesome! You caught Snorlax! Oh! The only thing I can do with that Poké Flute is put it on display. But you, you've been playing since you were little, and the, the tone is beautiful, lovely. It seems like my fur fur also likes the sound of that flute. Not as much as the uh, fireworks, of course. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Still, your better sounded better. Your playing sounded better back in the day. I'll let you take care of that flute, so be sure to practice more. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I'd be like, uh, thanks. Was that supposed to be an attempt to patch things up? Well, whatever. All's well that ends well. Of that lies past where... I wonder what lies past where Snorlax was sleeping. We'll find out next time! <laughs> no, but literally, we're gonna find out next time. Because I've got to go heal, like, right now. Get in there. And, like, there's so many trainers that I I haven't done and I want to do so bad. But, it, it, it's okay. Uh, let's see, did I do the question of the day yet? Did dark type flying? Yeah, I did flying. It was flying types. This is my brain. It does not remember things very well. If you guys don't remember, and if I, if I didn't say it before, question of the day is, what is your favorite flying type? I think I said mine was actually Charizard. Yeah, it was Charizard. Yeah, I remember now. <laughs> Anyways, guys, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button. And if you're really liking this series, make sure you hit that like button as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.